In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to pre transform in GIMP. Let's get started. To pre transform your photo in GIMP, Select the Unified Transform tool by right-clicking on the Transform icon on the toolbar, then select the Unified Transform tool or simply press Shift-T on your keyboard. The Unified Transform tool is GIMP's free version of Free Transform, complete with handles. Each handle serves a different purpose. The square handles apply the scale transformations, while the big white diamonds are for shearing adjustments, and lastly, the small outline diamonds are for perspective transform. If you click and drag outside the selected image, you can rotate the image around the designated anchor point. Also, take note of the Transform Matrix panel at the Unified Transform Tool pop-up overlay window to know which actions will be done when you click. To reset the image, simply click on the Reset button. To start a new free transform, click on the Readjust button, which allows you to keep the changes and apply a new transform immediately. Lastly, click the Transform button to apply the current changes to the current image layer or any linked layers. To set the pivot point, just click on a quartered circle at the center of the image and drag it to set a new pivot point or anchor point. This is helpful when rotating as well as transforming the image as it marks the center or the anchor of the image. In the Unified Transform Tool Options panel, you can also see that there are two modes of direction, one with normal forward, which is 99% correct in most transformations, and corrective backward, which allows you to perform geometric corrections such as an improperly positioned scanned image. The interpolation settings, on the other hand, controls the pixels of the image as a change in size. Cubic is the default and the best setting for most free transformation. None, as well as Linear, are both fast but provides a low-quality image when resizing. Lastly, both Low Halo and No Halo are much more CPU-intensive, but they produce a much better result than Cubic in some circumstances. The clipping settings shows you what will happen once you're finished applying your free transform. The Adjust option expands the layer beyond the layer boundary, the clip option limits your transformation within the layer boundary and it cuts the image once it goes past the boundary. The crop the result option reduces the image size to disregard all the transparent pixels that are created by the free transform. And lastly, the crop to aspect allows the free transform to be limited to the original aspect ratio of the image. To apply constraints, simply hold down Ctrl or Alt or Shift while using the Unified Transform tool. To take a closer look at what each keys do, look at the Tool Options panel under the toolbar. As you can see, the Move, Rotate, and Perspective are enabled in my Shift key, which allows me to move the handles freely and snap the photo when rotating as well as changing the perspective. With my Control key, Scale, Shear, and Perspective are enabled which allows me to uniformly scale shear and change the perspective of the image while holding down the control key. And lastly, the shift key also allows me to snap the pivot point back to the center of the image when I move it. If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell so that you can be updated whenever we upload new tutorials.